Welcome, today we'll be making braised chicken thighs with Italian olives, tomatoes, and oranges. I'm Chef Ray, and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School online. We're gonna start by making a cartouche. And uh, this is going to act as our lid. We're even gonna cut a little hole on it to uh, help vent to uh, really concentrate these flavors. So in order to do that, we're gonna use some parchment paper and I'm gonna take a nice piece of it. It's okay to get a little extra on there. And we're gonna cut that. And I'm gonna make two. We're gonna stack them up on top of each other. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fold them in half first. Make sure you get a nice crease on there. And then we're gonna fold them again. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold, make kind of a triangle. Try to keep it as even as possible. And then we're gonna fold one last time. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go about halfway into our pan and we're gonna kind of take a little measurement there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to cut this almost on a kind of like an angle. Uh, that way, get a little bit of that curve. And then we're also going to cut about half an inch off of the center. And let's see. And that's gonna go right over our pan. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside and go get our chicken. Okay, we're gonna start by adding some olive oil to our preheated pan. We're gonna do a quarter cup, about two ounces. We have onion powder, garlic powder, crushed red pepper flakes, salt, black pepper. We're gonna combine everything. And now we're gonna rub our chicken. Now, uh, we did loosen up the skin on the chicken because we do wanna get that seasoning under the skin. Now we're gonna flip them over and we're gonna get seasoning on this side. So now our pan is nice and hot and we're gonna drop that skin side down. So we're gonna put this side on that oil. Okay. We're gonna let that skin brown up. That fat is gonna render off a little bit. It'll take just a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. Okay, so our chicken has been cooking for six to eight minutes. We're gonna go ahead and give that a flip. We're gonna let this cook for another three to four minutes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and deglaze with some white wine. Any of those little bits uh, that have cooked on the bottom, that's called fond. And we wanna make sure that we release that off the pan and basically into our sauce. Okay, now we're gonna place our cartouche from earlier. Uh, now again, this is going to act as kind of a lid for us. Uh, and that little hole right there is going to allow this to vent off. So as this uh, chicken is cooking, a lot of moisture is being rendered off of that chicken. Uh, so we want that to actually escape the pan so that we can let our flavors uh, concentrate and it's gonna end up uh, producing a really, really nice result. So place that right on top there, kind of tuck it in a little bit so you get coverage, it doesn't pop out on you. Okay, we're gonna let this go for about 20 minutes. All right, so next we're going to zest an orange. I'm gonna use our microplane zester. And this just removes uh, the very surface of that orange. You get just such a great flavor. Uh, you get all those essential oils off of that orange. You just wanna make your way around it. Okay, so there's our zest collected right on the top of that microplane. We're just gonna tap that right onto a little bowl. 
And now we're going to segment our orange. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off the top, we're gonna cut off the bottom, and then we're going to try to follow the contour of that orange, removing the pith and trying to maintain as much of the flesh as possible. Okay, all right, so now you can see that the orange is gonna have like these little lines on it and that's gonna act as your guide for when you're segmenting these. And I'm gonna go right over our bowl with a strainer so I can catch any of the juice that drips down. Okay, so we're gonna make a little V cut and then push that aside and these will pop right out. All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to squeeze out whatever juice you can and we're gonna use all of that. All right, now we're gonna take some Italian olives and we're gonna cut these right in half. I also saved about a quarter cup of the olive juice, about two ounces, and we're gonna cut these right down the middle. We're gonna remove our cartouche very carefully. There's gonna be some steam. That liquid is gonna be kinda of hot. And we're gonna discard this. We're gonna add some tomatoes that have been cut in half. We're gonna add some prunes. We're gonna add our olives, our olive juice, our zest, and that orange juice. And we're also gonna add some oregano. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a stir, just make sure everything's nice and incorporated. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and top this off with our second cartouche. And again, be very careful, it is gonna be a little hot. Okay. We're gonna let that cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. So I have some rice that I cooked in the microwave according to package instructions. And now we're going to, once again, carefully remove that cartouche. Watch out for steam. Any of that liquid is gonna be hot. Be very careful. Now we're going to add our orange segments, some chopped parsley. All right, that looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and get some plates. Okay, now to plate this. Okay, now we're going to take chicken thigh Sure we get some of that sauce, some of those oranges, tomatoes, olives. And we're gonna garnish with some cheese. This is Pecorino Romano. Okay, so now let's give it a taste. What a great combination of flavors. You get the prunes in there, you get the citrus from the orange, you get the olives, that brininess, the tomatoes, just really, really wonderful. And by braising that chicken, you really get to make it nice and tender, really develop those flavors. Awesome, awesome dish. Click the link below for this full recipe. Subscribe to the Publix YouTube channel and check out the Aprons Cooking School online playlist for more from our chefs. Enjoy.